What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's going to be about what God has been showing me about the Mark of the Beast system. And the Mark of the Beast system has been here on this earth for years. Okay, now, of course, it's not out yet because we can still buy and sell without the chip. But just understand, guys, everything that's taking place in today's age, everything that they're pushing on the masses is all correlating to the Mark of the Beast. What is the Mark of the Beast? Uh, the chip, which is going to be in your hand or in your forehead. And before I get too deep into it, because I know there's a lot of children who watch me, this video is not pushing fear because if you have true faith in God, true faith in Christ, we don't know what fear is. Okay, us chosen ones, we've been chosen to be ch uh, for this special time, for this generation. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, I know this could kind of come off as if you're new to the faith, it might kind of come off as spooky or, you know, you might get fearful or something like that. But please don't operate under that spirit because best believe what's happening is judgment on this earth. The Bible talks about this in Genesis chapter 15. Let me verse right here. Chapter 15 verse... Um, 15 verse 13 to 15, I think. I'll make sure I leave that right there. It talks about how God will judge the nations after the 400 years of slavery of the, of the Hebrews is up, okay? What happened, and that started in 1619 and it ended in 2019. What happened at the end of 2019? You had, you know, the C word, C-O-V. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I can't say, every time I say that word, I get banned. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that word no more. So you had that, right? And then you had lockdowns and shutdowns and all these plagues coming, right? It's all God's judgment. So just understand that what's happening on this earth is all God's judgment. Clinging to the Father. And so there's nothing to worry about, nothing to be afraid of, okay? So number one, you're gonna have AI robots. Let me put that here. You're gonna have AI robots. They're gonna be replacing real humans. Okay, chat GTP. And what I mean by replacing humans is as you're no longer going to be uh, working, you know, like the Uber, the truck drivers. I'm not going to say all jobs, but uh, truck drivers, Uber Eats. Uh, you even have fast food restaurants right now. Or I just saw one at McDonald's. I forgot what the location is. It's in America. And it's all ran by technology. There's no real workers there. And yes, it's just one location. You might just say, oh, Murray, it's just one location. But that's going to be all around America more and more. We get into the AI. There's no need for humans, okay? This is, they're going to completely replace humans with robots and AI and technology, okay? Many movies talk, uh, showed this these signs beforehand. It's all predictive programming, okay? So now I know there's some, some jobs where obviously can't be replaced by AI, but that's where they're, they're moving to. They don't need humans no more. They already have... Uh, the robots and the AI and all this new technology. And see, one thing about technology is really cool at first, but once you understand the main agenda behind these technologies, okay, which I'm gonna talk about in number, the next one. Once you understand the real meaning behind this technology, you're gonna see it's all about control. Satan is a control freak. He wants to control your every move, your every transaction. It's all about control with the devil, okay? So you're gonna be seeing this more and more, guys, throughout the end, throughout the end. You see AI, and I know it's already happening now, but it's going to continue growing at a faster rate. AI replacing humans. I've seen a lot of people happy about chat GTP and all this stuff. Listen, guys, that's all, all correlating to the mark of the beast, okay? Next one up is electric cars replacing gas cars, okay? And y'all saw the video, or if you haven't already seen it, I'll leave it right here. It's um, what God showed me about electric cars. And pretty much I was talking about how it's all control, okay? Uh, what these electric cars is, and I had I had electric cars, so I'm not just speaking just to speak, I, I, you know, I, the first time I opened my car and I, the Tesla, the first time I opened, I automatically was like, wait, this is the mark of the beast, right? Because not to say that it's a mark of the beast, but it's how, when you, I opened the door and there's like a computer thing, right? So they could easily just stop my car anytime. Okay. And I'm going to go over that with uh, number four with the social credit score. But so what the electric cars are going to do, is all about tracking you and uh, tracing you. It's all ran by a computer so they can locate your car wherever it's at. If you don't pay your bill, they can easily just drive the car back to the shop, which you should pay your bill, by the way. But I'm just saying it's all about control, control where you're at. They know where you're at. They know it. And it's all correlated to the mark of the beast. OK, so that's why in 2030, uh, 2035. And um, already been over 20, or I think 18 states now, they ban gas cars, uh, new gas cars, and uh, coming in 2035. Now, this could change to an earlier date and also could have more, there could be more states passing this bill. So if you, I went to the um, dealership a couple of days ago and I see more uh, electric, electric, uh, electric cars more than gas cars, okay? That's crazy. I see more electric cars than gas cars. So we're seeing where this is going to. It's all about control, okay? Let's say... Um, I'm gonna kind of go on with number four a little bit, but let's say uh, with the social credit score, which I'm gonna talk about in a bit. So let's say like maybe you're going against the system, right? Let's say they want you to get that 
and you don't want to get that. So your credit score goes down. So they're going to be, they're going to be able to, okay, you could only drive 50 miles a day. You could, you could only drive a uh, hundred miles a day. Your social credit score is low. Uh, you, you're not obeying, you're not bowing down to the beast. Okay. You're not conforming to this world. Okay. You could only, we're going to shut down your car for a week, even though you already paid the, the car off that they could do that. They could do that. That's what these cars are all about. People are praising Elon Musk, even though he's an antichrist, not saying that he is the antichrist, but he has an antichrist spirit in him because the Bible says that the antichrist works with people who confess not Jesus is the Christ. Okay. So always understand that. Okay. It's all about tracking you, electric cars and control. And remember the mark of the beast is centered around control to control you. I'll just put, um, for M O T B. I'll just put that anyways, but next one up. Is we're seeing this right now, and I've been talking about this for years, guys. I've been talking about this for years. If you've been subscribed to this channel, y'all know I've been talking about this. So digital one world currency, no more US dollars. Okay, so how this is gonna work, right? So we have this right now. It's a talk is um on the Fed now. For those who don't know, the Cash App, the guy who founded Cash App just randomly uh dies. He passes away, it was a couple days ago, and now like the next day or literally a day after. Um, the Fed now releases that they're going to release their own, their own, uh, former cash app. Okay. It's not a coincidence. Okay. It's not a coincidence. And what this is all about, is all about control. Because if you, if you make transaction through cash, it, no one can know, you know, it's only between you and the person you're buying. But with the Fed now, they're going to be able to, con to track every, you see how it's all about control and track all market the beast. Okay. So now with the Fed now, right. They're going to be able to, to track your transactions. Okay. Oh, you sent this money to this person or you're paying for this. Uh, you paid your taxes, you didn't, this and that. It's all about control and tracking you, okay? And there's going to be no more U.S. dollars. There's going to be no need for it because they're going to have their own currency, okay? Just like the Bible says, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you receive a chip. So you won't be able to buy or sell or you won't be able to, you know, make transactions with the Fed now unless you receive a chip. But now when they first come, when it first comes out, it's going to be for you. are not going to need them, uh, Mark, you're not going to need any of that. They're going to slowly get people to accept it. Then they're going to push out their agenda. This is how Satan works. He has to plant a seed. He has to get you to accept it. He has to get it cool. Get celebrities and all the people people who worship, the idolaters worship, you know, the celebrities and the athletes. Oh, they're, they're talking about it. They use it. So let me go get it. Let the blind lead the blind. That's what's, what's going to happen, okay? So digital world war currency, no more U.S. dollars are replaced by the Fed now, okay? So we're already seeing this right now. I've been talking about this for years on this channel. Okay, next one up. Is social credit score. Okay, I was kind of talking about this elaborating on this in the number two. But social credit score, they already have this in China right now where um, if you're a bad, quote unquote, a bad citizen, you're not abiding to their rules, you know, their laws, not God's laws, but their laws, right? Um, your credit score goes down and you're unable, it's harder for you to get a job. It's harder for you to, you know, conform to the, or not conform to the society, but, you know, be a part of the society, you know, go to, you know, work a job, go to the gym. You can't do those things if you have a low credit score. So if you want, if, so if you don't want to get the market, the, you know, market the beast, right. And your social credit score is going to go down. Okay. It's going to go down. If you're not conforming to these, these demonic agendas. Okay. Um, let's say for instance, how do I say this without going against the algorithm <laughs> how or how, without getting to lose my channel? So let's say, right, for instance, you don't want to get this. Let's just say this. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. You want to get this, your credit score is going to go down. It's going to be harder for you or you, they, they might even make it where you can only drive 50 miles, 100 miles, or um, you're going to lose out on opportunities, okay? And the higher your credit score is, the more you're conforming to the beast, the more you're conforming to this world, you're conforming to the Satan, Okay. Best believe that those people who are going to have the high credit scores is because they're a sheep that's getting led to the slaughter. You know, a lot of people, these, these times we're living in, a lot of people have discernment. A lot of people have been given over to a strong delusion because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. For this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie, that all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasures on unright unrighteousness. That's in the Bible. I'll leave it right there too. Okay, so the social credit, uh, credit score is going to be a lot harder for those who or trying to walk that righteous path. But don't worry, don't fret. God will provide for you. Okay, saying this this beast system, this demonic system, you might, some people might believe that it's them providing for you. No, but God provides for people. He, God even says in the Bible that he makes it rain on the unjust and the, and, and the righteous. Okay, he gives him sun on all of us. He feeds all of us. Okay, so always keep that in mind. You're going to need God in these last days. Okay, the Bible even says in the last chapter, it says that we're going to have to flee to the mountains to escape all this madness that will take place in the cities. And, in, and not just America, but all over the world we're gonna have to escape to the mountains bro so you don't want to be selfish you want to be you know helping people have a, you know a loving heart 
um, you know, always keep in mind that we're all the people who are believers in Christ. We're all one body. So we want to help and support people. I know a lot of people who are selfish, who don't show no love. You're going to get cut off. Simple as that. OK, next one up is no buying or selling unless you worship Satan. Yes, best believe those people who get the mark. Uh, you have people who will say, you know, well, once saved, always saved. Jesus saved me in 2018. But they're gonna, the, the same people are going to be the same ones worshiping, saying, getting the mark. The Bible makes it clear. I read that verse right there in uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9 to 12. says that anyone who worships the beast in the image, there will be no mercy. They'll be burned with fire and brimstone. Okay, so always keep that in mind. There's no excuses. A lot of people got this. They made excuses. Oh, my mom made me get it. Well, I had to keep my job. Oh, I wanted to travel. When the actual mark comes, okay, there's going to be no excuse. There's going to be people who are saying, well, Jesus saved me. They're going to church every Sunday, but they don't have no relationship with the Holy Spirit. Going to church every Sunday, but they don't keep God's commandments. They're lost. It's a blind leading the blind. Okay. Next one up is the Antichrist ruler, okay? Now, the Bible, let me make this very clear. The Bible says that there's many Antichrists. Even today, I'm making this video. There's many antichrists. What is the antichrist according to the Bible? Those who confess not Jesus is the Christ. Okay, those people who don't believe in Jesus, that's the spirit of the antichrist works for them. That could be a family member. Okay, that could be someone you work with. That could be your best friend. Okay, your girlfriend. I mean, some of y'all sleeping with an antichrist spirit. You know, your your wife, your husband, unfortunately. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Anyone who, who confesses not Jesus is the Christ, that is the antichrist. The Bible makes that clear. It's like three verses. I'll leave, make sure I leave them on the screen. It's like three verses to talk about, okay? The lawless one, okay? It's all about lawlessness. Getting further away from God's laws and closer to their laws, Satan's laws. Because remember, Satan is a copycat. God has his laws and Satan has his laws. And Satan's prophets, his ministers, his messengers, they get you to rebel against God's laws. They tell you false doctrines to tickle your ears to get you to stay in sin. And y'all eat it up. Y'all being the majority, okay? So the Antichrist ruler... The lawless one, if he's going to rule, and he's going to be the one behind all this, okay? But the, And the one who's behind all this is the devil, okay? So always keep that in mind that when, if you receive the mark, you are worshiping Satan. No matter if you go to church, no matter if you call yourself a Christian, none of that matters, okay? So this is what God has showed me about the mark of the beast, the end time. Remember, nothing to be afraid of. Judgment is coming on this earth, and God is judging the righteous, and he's judging the wicked. I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you guys made this far, please show love by liking the video, subscribing to the channel. If you guys wish, you can support me down low below. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.